All right, and it looks like I'm back, and what was I doing? Right, I had to go back into the depths. So I went and talked to this guy. Got more combu- got some fireballs and combustion. And yeah, we've got to go back into the depths for- Got a lot to do down there. Yeah, still- still trying to learn this, um... Weapons parry timer. Ow. So, working on that, it's not a huge priority right now. It is something I really want to figure out. Oh, come on. But yeah. This is kind of the build I want to do. I want to do dagger and claw. Focus on parrying and dodging and throwing fireballs at the face when the opportunity is right. I don't remember the delay on dropping ever being half this. But the extra, the massive boost in fireballs is going to help me so much. That extra humanity is going to be nice. This guy's timing always confuses me a bit. Oh, come on, stop doing it. I mean, 16 fireballs is almost usable. This guy, okay, so they are one and done, which is always nice. I do need to go through there just because I do, uh, actually, do I need to go through? Sorry. I always forget about the uh, mouse being on the screen. There's only so much you can do against these things in this game without a uh, ranged weapon. The fireballs naturally have a low arc. Oh, for fuck's sake, where did you come from? Who told you I was here? I mean, like, ugh. I cannot hit that thing. And I am going to die to these fucking things. Can I get you to kindly fuck off for me? That'd be greatly appreciated. This is why you get the master key. And 
and here's the thing. This is, if I wanted to go farming pyromancy shit, this would be the play. Because a fireball will absolutely crack these things. I really hate these guys. Really? Actually. There we go. That's better. Can you drop anything? No. I need them to drop some. Need them to drop green titanite. I can upgrade my claws. Oh shit. Oh puffer. Have a fireball. Oh, that was better than I expected. I hate how difficult it is to aim fireballs in this game. Like I said, it's so hard to aim. Even something that I can actually lock onto, I will throw it way short. And give me that other, that final backstab for three. And that is two. Oh, we giddy Jesus, yes. That is two humanities for free. There's the large imp. Now, I could do the easy thing, well, not the harder, slightly harder thing, of going down there and getting the, um, going, killing the rat, and then coming back. But, I want to go reinforce that, um, that bonfire more.
Really? Being slashed with flaming claws doesn't do anything to me. The reason I do make a point of killing these things every chance I get is they have a good well they don't have a good chance. They have a chance of dropping green type. And as I said before, Green Titanite is what I need. Upgrade the claws. Here, puppy. Well, I mean, if you're not going to come to me, I will fireball you. That is really disturbing that he's not here. Is he linked with the uh, butcher by chance? I thought I needed more fireballs than I actually did. Hey bitches, how are you doing today? Killed your dad. Hope you enjoyed that. I assume it's their dad. Their mom. not dead from that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is something that I do forget every once in a while if you don't come to this room there's a there's this guy and he likes to shoot down at you while you're fighting the boss he also likes to buff the fucking boss fucking rats man Yeah, always make sure you get them. There's those guys. Oh. Arch Titanite. Don't really need it, but I will gladly accept it. Wait a second, where does this lead? Rat corpse, dead rat corpse. 
Ah. This game should not be chugging on my PC. It really should. My PC should have no issue. Alright, let's open up the shortcut. And maybe we'll go get to play with the perk song. I remember having so much less issue when I did this playthrough than I did any of my other ones. Now, maybe that's because when I first did this, I was so much more practiced in the game. Waterfall. No? There he is. Hello, Kirk. How are you? Enjoy this backstab. There's some fireballs. heal. And his souls. I don't get anything... Oh, hello, Mr. Basilisk. How are you doing today? Why the fuck are you here? Keep looking over because there's vaping hobbyists um, talking in the Discord. I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just they vape as a hobby. They have their own custom mods. And they do it for fun. I vape because I used to go through a can of chew a day. And I decided I didn't want to go through a fucking can of chew a day. likes to lock on the Oh, I do not have any curse resistance. Jesus. No, 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 no. Yeah, that is very no bueno. Absolutely none. Holy crap. I'm trying to think where I'd get the curse bright bite ring to begin with. 
and it's uh, I can't remember. I think about it. It's gonna be evil eye. Is that the first ring I've gotten in this game? No, I've got the cat coming and the dark ones. Which I mean, I don't need, but sure, why not? I'm trying to think of literally anywhere else I can get combustion from. Or not even combustion, um, fireball. Just because I like fireball. I would rather have a shit of fireballs. And a humanity. Oh, the huge manatee. Yeah, not being able to teleport around kind of limited at this early point in the game. Because then it just, there's so much running you have to, running around you have to. Which is one of the things I do like about the about this Dark Souls, is that its interconnectivity makes the running around not as bad as it can. Now I think because I have the Master Key, I can go straight down to Right down to Blight Town, but I'm not. So let's take our souls and put some into endurance. And I think I keep accidentally putting points into attunement. That's why I have so many attunement spells that I have no idea how I got them. Um, I only have the three spells. So. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I'd, I'd need to have a high humanity. Or come back after I get to... Uh, the place. The people. The things. And the stabbies and the death. Blight Town. Blight Town. Not even Blight Town. It sends fortress. You know, you can go fuck yourself. Hey, here's the thing. Once I get to Sense Fortress, I'm pretty sure I can just buy them. And that is a most welcome occasion to be able to buy them. I shall act with them too. I'm dumb. I'm just I adore truth. What do you have? You have gold mine resin, which is almost box. Crystal weapons. This uh arrows. Currently useless. And your armor. Well, 
position. And get the fuck out of my way. I always feel the need to come over here. This is one of the things I actually enjoy about Dark Souls. Is there is a shit ton of useless architecture. Right, and the gaping vagina dragon. So this is going to be an interesting one because I am on a goal to get, come back, bring me your ass, you ass. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Well, that one coming though, you bitch. Yeah, I want to get all of the tail weapons this game. I especially want to get Priscilla's tail. Priscilla's tail is that weapon that has always eluded me and it's always pissed me off. Beer crawl thing. Like. It's disturbing the amount of times I have, oh shit. I have tried to get her tail and I haven't. Like I swear, I am going to make a point of making a um, 
fuck. A, a lightning Iato. Or some shit. Just to do the best I can to ensure I get that damn booty. Give me your tail, you bitch. There we go. You are unnecessarily resist resistant to fire, but you are a dragon. Aha, you don't have that anymore, do you? You bitch. Yeah, you are. Ow. You know how when I played Skyrim and I thought, you know what? A fire or a frost mage would be cool. And then it dawned on me. Oh, right. Most characters in Skyrim are resistant to frost. Bit. Dodge. Dodge, you bitch. Especially since I know Gwyn is like super resistant. Oh. One is like super resistant to fire. So when the final boss comes around, I'm gonna have to be on my fucking A game. Oh, come on. No, no. Bitch. Okay, get going, get going, go. Drink. Have a fireball. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, no, no, no. You fuck off with that shit. You know you don't have that anymore. Oh, come on. I am tempting him with my body. No, no, no. I don't want your body in return. I want your face. You know what's worse than him trying to use that and him not having it? He do trying to dodge it when he doesn't have it. Hi, face. Meat claws. Since you're way more tense than you needed to be. And then you do something like that. We just fist your prostate for a moment and uh, call that a day. I know how over the top and cheesy that is that I do that. It's just something when I started playing Dark Souls 2 and I got the yes victory. But uh I I know it's stupid. I've just enjoyed it so much since I started doing it. I keep all right, we have unlocked the key to blight. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I need fireballs. 
I need so many fireballs. I don't have enough. If I bought every single possible casting of fireball in this game, I still would not have enough. Alive. Okay, this is a completely unrelated thing. But I am having a conversation. Well, I'm not having a conversation. I'm kind of watching a conversation between people who vape for fun. When I'm vaping, I am not vaping because I think it's super awesome, cool, and fun. I did it because I was. I used to chew, and I would go through a can of General Mint a day every single day I would do this and it was bad it was unhealthy is an understatement is the understatement of the century now I do believe snooze is less dangerous than um, American tobacco. At the same time, you're still shoving addictive cancer species out. There's only so much you can do with that until it's... And these are people using unregulated mods. And they're, they're talking like I, I am, I know anything. About I use a, I use a mod I bought from a store. But hey, give me that thing. Nice. Okay, let's let's start this magical, magical. And Welcome to Blight Town, everyone. And th this is a personal thing. There's. I don't want to use the term. Oh, no, no. I have no problem. There's kind of this group. There are two members. One of them is claiming to be an engineer. And Ty, if you're watching this, I am. Are, you are everything you say you are, then I do apologize. It's just sometimes, and that's why I go to you. 
That's why I go to high for questions on certain Seems to know what she's talking about generally. Generally? Generally. Huh. But it's kind of the person who does it for fun for making super big clouds to someone who I'm doing this for the nicotine. And that's it. It's just one of those things. It's just some of those things. In this, you know what, I'm just gonna drop the focus on um, vaping to literally anything. People who are elitists, not saying anyone in this conversation is an elite, but people who are saying you have to do it this way and this is the only way to do it and da -da -da -da, I know more than you do. But it's just one of those things where I listen to some people and they tell you like you're not doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. Oh, I forgot about his second swing. Oh, that bleed. Sorry, this is something I have to say. Okay, sorry. I, I I did have to do that, and I it, it's because the conversation was going, and I 
I, I just had to say something. Sure, anyways. But. So, back to fucking burning down Blight Town. So, here's the thing. I see his bitch ass over there. I know he's gonna start shooting po toxic darts at me. I need to fucking find a way to deal with these idiots. Oh shit. This is when the game starts hitting hard. There you are. I see you. Don't worry, I see you, buddy. All right. Is there anything down there? And we're dodging. And we're dodging. Give me just one more. You know, actually... <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna have to... Push that argument to the side, and I'll just observe it. But some some of the things they're saying is is insulting. You know what I'm. Let let's just let's just do it this way.
Give me just a moment. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, Sketch. Hey. I'm just, it's just, I'm trying to have, oh, I, like, I hey. want to be part of the conversation, but There's I'm in the middle of a stream. This. So, Give me oh, a while, by the way. Um, so yeah, um, basically it's just, what I- Do not make us Fuchs hat the burr. Uh, you, not Fuchs hat the burr. No, oh, Fuchs boop your mute button. Uh, do not mute me. <laughs> this is... Wait, does this mean that he's wearing a muggle? No. Possible. Bears do not like me. Okay. Um, but no, um, so yeah, no, what I think me and Darkstar are getting at in the whole thing is we're not trying to, we're not pushing them over our limits. We're, like, I usually, I don't take more than a two second hit ever. So, it's... And I'm using like a regulated mod, and I, I just asked a question because I was like, "Is the is there you go?" And like I understand hey. it is. Uh, dangerous. Correct me if I'm wrong, but judging from the way I'm hearing things, are these things seriously sometimes worse than the Dell batteries from like the early 2000s? Yes, because those batteries had protection circuits. These batteries do not. That that really, I believe me, I'm actually shocked. I always thought there was some kind of protective circuit. Not not for vape packs because well, those protective circuits they end up reducing the uh, amount of draw you can pull off of a battery. And if you're going to be heating up a coil, you got to be able to ha get access to all of that power as quickly as possible for a good vape experience. And is that the is that the difference between regular? Well, so have a shit ton of batteries. Well, even then, you know, because there those circuits are amp limited. Okay. Yeah, no, that, believe me. Like I said, I'm no expert, so I'm. No, and that and that's... I was just genuinely going like. Huh. Like, like I said, that's the Why? reason I. <laughs> and for the record, sketch uh, and, and and you too, flame. Even though I wasn't directing it at you, I apologize if I'm coming off like really harsh about this. Mm -hmm. But these fucking things are dangerous. Like, big time. It was only a couple weeks ago, somebody with a single battery box mod, a regulated smock box. I, th I thought originally it was an unregulated box, but it was actually a regulated box. And the battery That's went off, of and it took his tank and put it through the back of his head. Okay. Um, what and that's the, the thing, hell? that was something I thought, I thought fucking it was... fucking killed himself when his battery went off on a regulated mod. Was there any more details These on it? These are nothing to be fucked with. No, and, and, and that's the thing, I understand they're not... The to be best fucked. way to make sure that these things are, made, are kept safe is by having a charger that gives you all of the details that Gappy and I are talking about. And because, that's the thing, I understand you guys do know what you're you know, talking about. And that's that's why just I... one situation. How about the guy who had it now this is a mech mod problem mind you but this is still mech is the an example of ones. these things um guy with a mech mod put it in his pocket before getting on a roller coaster because the oh, dumbass running dumb. the coaster didn't say hey why don't i take that until you get off the ride well um oh my god that's instead dumb. told the guy to put it in his pocket so he did Followed instructions, put it in his pocket. Fire switch got pressed, the battery was overdrawn, and the battery detonated, causing the 11 year old girl next to him to have second and third degree lithium burns down her leg. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, no, no, These no. Are, that's. There's a very good like reason that I why I come off as harsh as I do. These things. There's a reason why mech mods in particular are called pipe bombs. Because that's exactly what they are. 
And now mech mods get an unfair reputation for being pipe bombs because, quite frankly, any mod can do it. Any non mods can do it because, um, I have an LD Cheapo. That's the only, only, only one I have. Many occasions where I'm like, oh goody, the little off switch decided to stop working again. Like when I built well, when I built my twin battery uh, mech mod, uh, <laughs> the Griffin. Um, when I put the circuit together, I actually put a small switch in between uh, the fire switch and the uh, the MOSFET that actually does the triggering. That way. I have an off switch. I hit that switch, there's no way for me to trigger the circuit to go closed. So that is a totally pocketable mod. Mm -hmm. And that by design. That might be what's going because on with mine. I that, didn't that want to have a detonation. But like it's because I'm just getting home from work and it unregulated mods and mech mods should have something like that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what triggered the conversation to begin with, is I was... Now, I also come from a totally different group of people here. Like I said, I learned my vaping habits from somebody who can on-site spin her own coil within the thousandth of an ohm without using an ohm meter. That's fucking insane. And she's good at it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. really really good at it she has a charger with all the bells and whistles and she keeps track of her batteries she also runs nothing but mech mods she doesn't run regulated mods she likes the flavor better I happen to agree flavor is definitely better you also have more control over the hit oh god I fucking died again what the fuck is this? No, I didn't what die. I am grinding along the rail. <laughs> but and we no, also there's, understand there's a... that if you're going to put a pipe bomb that close to your face, you should probably understand exactly what kind of pipe bomb you're dealing with. How long is that fuse? And the only way to know how long that fuse is is to have all of that information. And even with that in mind, she's blown up two batteries. She's fried two mods. Two very expensive mech mods have detonated in her hand, despite having all this information. It's rare, and honestly, the only reason those two things happened is because, or the, the reason it happened those two times is because she was drunk, stoned, and fell asleep on her mod. And it was a particularly bad time in her life because, well, reasons. Yeah, if you're getting drunk Just and stoned say at that the she same was time. not in any uh, mental shape to particularly be dealing with that, so she really wasn't. But that's the only two batteries she's ever blown up, and she was not in a shape, a position where she really should have been using those batteries at all. Hi, did you mute me, or was I just mute the, muted the entire time? You were, you were muted just the entire you were time. just muted the whole time. Oh my I god, did, I feel I, retarded. I told, I told you you were muted. I thought you were saying you, you muted me. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Jesus. Not, not that you muted me, or that you were going to mute me. I didn't realize that that over was over to your system and hit your mute button. Yes, invite you in here so we can discuss this like adults. Mute you immediately. No, 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 I, 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 <laughs> God damn it! sorry. I'm, 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 the burr was muffled. Sorry. I, I'm slightly intoxicated. Um, but, Intoxication is good. Yes, um, no, I'm also playing Dark Souls, so. Oh, I'm playing Bloodborne. Oh, lovely. Simulator, simulator. And simulator, I can't get out. Simulator? Playing simulator, simulator. Is a game Some called people... Simulator, simulator? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. How deep does the simulator go? <laughs> Are we simulating simulators? 
<laughs> Are we simulating simulators that simulate simulators? In um, I've done something like that. I've had a because oh, I do my VR right. stuff. Virtual machine running uh, a Linux server for our VR system is connected to it, running a app on a virtualized tablet that was a JavaScript Linux system. What's when does the browser? rabbit hole go too deep? And I was SSHing into the server that it was running on. <coughs> mm. Oh, I gotta make beer back. Oh, that's why I'm not getting shit during a popcorn fart. Dripper life is hard, just so you know. Like, straight up, in the vaping world, dripper life is a pain in the ass. But like I said, I'm a lifestyler. I get it. No, I, I find it ironic that the, what they created to help get people away from the dangers of smoking had dangers all of its own. <laughs> well, it's, well yeah. it's one of those things, and like like I tried to say while I was muted, um, the, the point me and I think Darkstar were trying to make is that we aren't doing it the same way like you guys are, and I understand there are still inherent risks. That's completely understandable, completely acceptable. It's just like, I understand how you guys do it, is way different than us, and I feel like you guys are using a bit of your experience as um, a point and not fully understanding how we do it. Because I like to take a, a one or two second hit, maybe, and I do that because I need the nicotine. Oh, for, and I get that. Fine. But here's the thing. If... This is not a our way versus your way because we, well, Gappy, as far as I'm aware, doesn't vape. His experience comes from a different line of lithium ion cells that is still just as absolutely valid. Um, I'm speaking for two people because Allison is not in here. And I understand. Um, but, but the reason we do this is not just because we are lifestylers but it's also because we know the inherent risks of these batteries they're not safe mm -hmm. they are less than three inches from the most important organ in your body face. um well your brain but yes <laughs> Unless yours, you know, is somewhere else, which th th there's been some rumors. About, I mean, I still know. have a penis, so it, it might be down there. Who knows? Okay, well, me too, unfortunately. Yeah, you want an extra one? <laughs> no, I don't. You could be the burr with be... two dicks. I, mean, I might be talked into a lot of things. I don't think I'd have a, a use for the second one. My girlfriend is I did not Just put them both in the screen. same hole. Or on live internet. Just put them both in the same hole. <laughs> but, um... It's... All about reducing those risks. Because, like I said, you know, I've seen... I, I've seen fully regulated mods. The safe ones detonate. The guy who literally put his tank into his brain was running a regulated mod. Now, in theory, that regulated mod should have recognized that there was a problem and shut it down before that happened. In practice, this is not a lab setting. No. And that's, that's the, the difference. Thing I understand. And because. Sorry, not you because guys. it's, My it's fine. <laughs> uh, and because it's not a lab setting, you need more than four blinking lights. Yeah, and I and and that's the thing. I understand it. It's just at the same time, it's 
kind of just like you know I, I get I, I, I get it I'm harsh I come off yeah is I, I come off as a bitch I am one and that's not the point thank I'm you. trying to make right now. It's like I'm just trying to thank you for noticing. <laughs> I'm tr I'm just trying to formulate my thoughts, but um, oh. no, it's it, it has nothing to do with you. It's more of like I ask the people who actually work at the place, and I I don't think I'm not gonna say you or either or they know more than you or either way around. It's just like I I will walk into them and say hey. There's a small broken wrapper on. It. It's literally like if you took a pin and stabbed the thing. I'm like, is this okay? And they're like, yeah, it should be. If you feel like there's anything wrong, just replace it. Yeah. See, I, I what I would have told you right then and there is to take that wrap off, get a new wrap, and, sh and re shrink it don't run it with a pin prick because if you end up with another pin prick on another cell i'm assuming you're running a, a twin battery i i deck. posted the pic the picture and links i have no idea of the knowledge i can't understand that link. Well, right but your uh your, your mod does it run one battery at a time yes okay so it's less of an issue the battery case itself is there any metal outside of the contacts no it's just the okay. bottom and the top. Okay, because you're at less of a risk there, but see, mine is a modified E-Leaf uh, i stick 100. It's okay. an older one. It's an older 100 watt mod. Um, and the case is entirely metal. Oh, yeah. Someone. If that really it, me not only do I have two battery packs in here. But this case is metal, so if I had a pin prick, and I if I had a pin prick on the opposite battery, the one that's right next to it, they could arc between each other. Oh no, that I completely. Or understand. they could make ground with my case. That's no, thank you. Yeah, no, no, things <laughs> like that I completely understand, and that's why I kind of I, I was trying to make the difference between someone who does it not because they're trying to get rid of. Chew, but because or chew or smoking or something, and someone who does it for the fun of it. That, that's why I was trying to make that difference. Yeah, and I I, I get it. Uh, but uh, again, whether you're trying to get rid of a habit or replace a habit, or you are a cloud chaser like me, because I don't run Nick. Mm -hmm. Or if you're somebody who runs enough nicotine to fill an entire pack in one hit, oh, Jesus like Alice, Christ. like Allison does. Jesus. Um, that's. I'm not gonna tell your friend. I'm not gonna tell you your friend needs help, but your friend might need help. <laughs> uh, she she she's dealt with a lot of shit, and I totally understand uh, where she's coming from. And I, that's the thing. I under I understand at the same time. It's just like um, Jesus Christ. People were yeah, telling I, me 16. Really high. I was like, is it that high? Yeah, she. I don't expect you to go I, here. Yeah, I, I, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember exactly uh, what she's running, but it's 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 extreme. But she's had an extreme life. She's been through some shit, but the point being is that it doesn't matter what kind of vapor you are. Your first, uh, your first priority should be to be doing this safely. Yeah, and that's and that's one of the reasons I you, was kind of you can't you cannot rely on your box to do that. Yeah, even with a regulated box, regulated mod. You have to have some cognitive dissonance. You have to have some knowledge of what's actually going on in here. And in order to do that, like Gappy and I said, you gotta have the good charger, the one that gives you all of that information. Are they expensive? Yes. Are you going to pay more for that than you did your box? Absolutely. Is your life 
worth cheaping out or potentially the lawsuits involved of getting somebody else injured because of it? No. It's not worth running a cheap charger. Because the fact of the matter is, is people are people who don't vape are looking for problems to find in people who do. There are lawsuits dropping daily oh, on no, people I... who vape. Yeah, no, no, trust me. I've... That's one of the things I've noticed and like I've mentioned it earlier on that to my friends um the shit I hate the the tobacco ads that you see because they're actively targeting vapors yeah so basically the the having a good charger it's covering your own ass mm -hmm. and yeah I do like I I, I I push the limits of my equipment because that's the lifestyle that I've chosen. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that you would not benefit from the same information that I'm getting or yeah. I would like to get because, like I said, I don't have the good charger. That's why I don't use my Mac. I don't fucking trust my batteries until I know what's going into them, you know? Yeah. At least I have... A bit of a firewall with this regulated mod and I also I don't know if you can do this it takes some practice and it takes some a significant significant amount of vaping to get this down but if you can taste the difference be between your vape I can barely taste, taste the, the difference between two different Try to f try to learn the point when your batteries go nominal. Define nominal. Uh, that would be uh the three point four volts, I think. Effectively, when it reaches its absolute lowest, where well, it, I wouldn't say lowest because if you go lowest, then you're pushing it. Try to go. There is a, a distinct point where it's no longer worth vaping kind of thing oh. well no no well, it, 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 there's still some power in them and you can still get some decent hits off of them but you it's when you get that change in flavor i i've never gotten really a change in flavor from that I, i'm not sure if it's the same thing but i've gotten in the amount of what's actually coming out like right now, my batteries at 50 watts are sitting about 3.9 volts. Uh, this hits 3.7. I'm taking them out, and I'm putting them in the charger, uh, because that's about nominal. I can I can draw them down way further than that. I can draw with, with this mod. I can draw those batteries practically dead with no problems whatsoever. But you don't want to do that because <laughs> the closer to dead you get, the the closer to dying you get. Yeah, and that's the that, that, that that's also is just thing. not healthy for the battery. To switch three point six three six three point six volts. That is the lowest I will ever draw my batteries. But at this point, three seven is about where I'm going to cut it because that's when I that's when I taste the difference. Is that three seven? Like I don't. And like, some people might argue that even that's too low. Okay. Like I don't really Which is, taste a difference, but it's the amount of the amount I actually am getting. Like, see, that's uh, the that's the regulated part. If you were running a mech mod, it would be more of a flavor thing because the regulator takes the regulator is converting your amperage into voltage, right? Sure. So. The less amperage you have left in the cell, the longer it's going to take to reach that voltage. So you're, what you're going to see is you're going to see a decrease in quality of the hit. Whereas with a mech mod, because there's none of that brain boxery going on, it's not doing any conversions, you're going to get it and you're going to get it hard no matter what, but there is a flavor shift instead. I don't know, the, the, well, for one thing, it's like past 2 a.m., so my nomenclature is not going to be entirely solid here.
but I don't know the entire engine behind why one does this and the other does this. Why a mech mod, it's a flavor thing, and with a regulated mod, it's a quality thing. I don't un understand exactly why that is, but I know that that's what... But, you know, I've run both a regulated mod and a mech mod, and for one reason or another, that's exactly the way it is. Okay. And if you're having an issue telling one flavor from another, uh, I would suggest possibly running more flavor. Yeah, I don't... I think it's more of just my taste buds. and Hydrate more. Yeah. Oh, that's... I'm, dude, I live in California. Like, seriously, hydrate a lot, because your first sense to go is your sense of taste if you're not hydrated. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. Actually, Hi, speaking guys. of, my mouth is drier and a popcorn fart. Hey, Gappy. Hey. Hey. Sketch? Yeah. Sketch? Uh, word, please. In game. Um, okay. How you doing? What's up? Um, just wondering about what you said to me today, earlier. Uh, you think I got a problem? Um, what do you mean? Like, uh, when you said I came on too strong, something like that? Give me remember just, something, saying something like that? Dude, give me just one moment, because I am on stream. I'm going to mute the entire stream, so it's just... Okay.
That's not a good. That's basically straight up short circuit, and your batteries will heat up like a motherfucker when that happens. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know why it happens when it dries off instead of when it gets wet, because I would have thought wet coils would have made it a less resistance than dry coils, but again, apparently that's not how it fucking works. There's there's some magic going on here. Like, mm -hmm. for example, uh, the tube-style mech mods, the, the, the literal hand grenades, as I've heard them called, um, when you get them tightened up properly, they're being held by the top and the bottom of the battery. So they're technically in a circuit. The mm -hmm. circuit is closed, and when you push in on the bottom of, bottom of the mod that's when you close the circuit but when it's tight to where the battery doesn't vibrate technically speaking that circuit's closed is it not for all logical reasons if the battery isn't moving that means the contacts are being pressed and it is a closed circuit correct makes sense to me <laughs> <laughs> Then why the fuck in that position do they will they not work? They only work when you put that little bit of extra pressure. Dirty contacts, I think. No, this was a brand new mod, brand That's new awesome. fucking mod, and it ha it's happened with every single one I've ever used. I don't get it. People who run them don't get it. I asked Allison about it, and she said, you know, I've regretted having this conversation with you because I can't figure it out either, and I know that you know <laughs> electronics. I didn't want to sound like a complete and total jackass in front of you because you know how electronics work. But seeing as you brought it up, let's have this conversation. I don't know. That's exactly mm -hmm. the conversation I had with Allison about why, <laughs> why you're my god. Was um, firing when the contacts were in firing position. We don't get it because we we uh, it out. We talked about it. We looked at it, and as for all intents and purposes, this is a closed circuit, but it will not fire unless you put extra pressure on it. It's uh, fucking weird. We don't get it. My favorite phrase. Do you have a circuit is, schematic? I ain't got it. Yep. Well, the, the the circuit schematic is to, the, the the tube style mods. Literally, they're they're grounded through the outer tube, which is the outer case, and it hooks up to the bottom of the battery. And then the top of the battery goes to the center pin of your five ten connector. So that's your circuit. Well, it sounds like a dead simple circuit, really. You just oh, you, it, you got your switch, sends power through the coils. And those coils connect to the uh, the case, which is ground, and then it goes to the ground of the battery. Right, right. And in this case, the switch is literally just whether you push the battery into position or not. But could it be a dirty switch? Uh, well, there's no there's no actual switch. It's it's it. Here, let me let me see if I can find. Yeah, uh, any kind of documentation would help. Yeah, I, are you sure? Because I've done this shit, you know, all my life, and I don't know why it works the way it was. There's no actual switch. The bottom part, the fire switch on the bottom of a mech mod, it physically moves the battery. Closer than it. Right. Well. Well, here. Uh, I'm not gonna be show able to look you, at uh, it, but Cappy might be able. To. Yeah. I will. I'll just DM this to you. This is a. Yeah. Th this is a Zeus Mac mod. Uh, you'll know why it's called a Zeus here in a second. As soon as I find you. Where is Small Bird? Where is Small Bird? I'm very small, so I am hidden. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> why do I always do it this way? I can just just right click your name and hit message. Always yeah, make this hard. Work. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, so. The picture, uh, the the two brass parts there, the two small brass parts, out next to the black piece. The 
part that's inverted with the silver screw on it, uh -huh. that's going to be the uh, the positive connection that goes to the uh, center pin on your 510 connector. Mm. The outer part of that same part is going to be your grounding connection, which gets its ground through the brass tube. Right. The bottom part is just a plunger in a spring that is connected to the outer part and the bottom part of the battery. So when you push that in, you're physically pushing the battery up and into the positive pin and completing the circuit. Oh, so that, when you re that when you release the, that the button... Use. Okay, yeah. I'm with you so far. Yeah. So when you release that button, the battery moves out of firing position. So the circuit is open. But when you tighten them down to where, and this takes a lot of fiddling, and they fucking lie to you and all sorts of nasty shit, they're a pain in the ass. And if, if you like giving yourself a fucking headache, pick up a fucking mech mod. Um, because they're a pain in the ass. But you get it tightened down to where that battery does not vibrate when you shake it. So it's not moving up or down. Mm -hmm. It still Only will not work. fire. It will still not fire until you put that last little bit of pressure on the bottom, even though it's not moving. And we don't understand why. The circuit should be closed. Because the position of the battery is the switch. Mm -hmm. it, the circuit should be closed, but it's not. I would love to show you that. And measure continuity on that bottom button. Absolutely have. Everything shows. Meeting, eh? Absolutely, everything shows like it should be closed, but it's not. Like no power gets to those coils. I've confirmed it multiple times. I'd love to do this to you in person, be just to see the look on your face because it's the same look on that I had on my face. I guarantee it. <laughs> Where I'm I literally. Guess, I guess uh, ground to uh, positive on the coils catch out as well. <laughs> yeah, every everything's. Rock solid. Everything's solid, but no that, power. This has gotten me curious. It's fucking weird, man. It's this fucking weird. Me real curious. So fucking weird. I can't begin to explain it. That's so fucking weird. Something I found a I, I found a mech one mod. of those two parts. <laughs> right. I found a mech mod that I kind of want. It looks like a. Uh, Looks like an old school pipe. It's uh, called the uh, Adv Advkin. Advkin? How the fuck do you pronounce that? A D V K E N. How do you go from V to K? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna drop out my thing, guys. Uh, All good right. Chat. <laughs> okay. See easy. You. Yeah. Talk to you guys later. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I it was a discussion that I wanted to have and I wanted to finish and I felt it was better to actually talk to the people instead of having an argument. Very brief delay and I'm I respect Gappy enough to not go too much into detail, but it was basically he thought I was trying he thought I was saying something to intentionally be insulting. I Feel that's what he said. I do not know what he he was me. He was, but what I felt he was trying to say, and he was asking, "Is there a problem?" And like I said, I'm not sure if that was picked up. No, I simply made a comment based on how I was perceiving the conversation. I explained to him my perception on it, and I wanted clarity. Worked it out, and that was that. If only more things could be done like that. If only I was as lucky as that drop in real life. Holy shit. I wasn't even... There was no reason I should have survived that drop.
But yeah, it's just one of those things where we, we had a disagreement and someone took it too far. Someone got too heated. I'm not saying who got too heated. I, because I don't know. It just seemed like the discussion got taken too far. And so I was like, hey, let's, let's actually talk it out. Let's listen to each other. And as was probably heard, I was muted for most of that. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. I have no problem calling. Okay, and... Pop. Dunk. That is... You do not stand behind me, Mr. Basilisk. You are not allowed to breathe. Oh, for fuck's sake. I should have hit. Okay. So. We have gotten down here. We have. There's always one I need to drop down to. In one of these gaps. Right there. Can you guys not do that breath shit for, like, three seconds? Just long enough for me to light you all on fire? The extra bleed effect is very nice. To there is a way to, dr there's an item to drop down to, and I have, for the life of me, never been able to get it. And right now, I am not in the mood to tempt and try to get it. Go down. That one right there. No idea. Ne I have never... I have no idea what that item is. And I have never gotten it. I'm not going to get it now, but I'm going to try to get it later. For now, the goal is to... Hit. Hit. Oh, we got to the bottom. So, our goal right now is to light these two bonfires. And not sit at either. Ash Lake is such a cool... And there is Mr. Hydra, our best friend in the goddamn world. That's not a joke. I legit do not know how I'm going to kill that. Because I'm using fire and I'm using bleed as my primarily primary damage. Zone. The claws themselves do not do much damage.
Like, I think right now the claws do 76 damage. And the bleed is doing just as much. Not the bleed, the uh, fire. That's what makes, um... Look at, the, look at my ankles, goddamn. They're so freaking derpy and broken. But yeah. Um, the benefit of elemental weapons is you don't need a lot of um, power to actually use. You don't need a high level to use elemental weapons. You don't need a high dexterity. You don't need a high strength. You just need a high um, weapon level. And that's why it's usually used level one runs is they'll take something like and if I am wrong correct me but they'll take like like club which has bleeding to it I think and they'll use that as their primary weapon because they can elementally enchant it without actually like raising their level and make that elemental enchantment so much more powerful hi Durgan Shit! Oh, God. Have your tail. So you just have your tail. Thank you. I'm not going to force you guys to sit through me running back up the stairs. So, I'm going to call it for the night, and I'm probably going to do some grinding, possibly, in this game or another. Which I really want to finish that other game. But I haven't had time. So, with that, as usual, down below is the link to my YouTube. If you are watching from YouTube, down below is the link to my Twitch, where you can watch all this idiocy live. With... All of that being said, until next time, guys.